We as uh, Kajemu perceive uh, CSR as um, partnering with communities to uplift uh, sustainable livelihoods in the communities around. And our main focus areas are health, education and uh, community empowerment. There are a lot of services that we are offering currently. We do general clinic, that's the outpatient department. And then uh, we also offer services such as in, uh, maternal and child health services, labor um, deliveries, postnatal and antenatal care, child health in terms of uh, immunizations. I think the community has appreciated the services that we are offering because now they are coming in numbers. Imagine people that are coming as far as Kalurushi just to access our services here. Also from Chantete and nearby St. Joseph's, they are really appreciating what we are doing here. And I think they are even excited with the new building that is coming up. I think it will go a long way in helping out in terms of service delivery at this facility. Education is a means through which skills and competences are imparted into learners. Because of that, we are running two career pathways, the academic career pathway and the vocational career pathway. The, the kind of scholars we are perceiving to come out of uh, Lufuanyama district are scholars that are going to compete favorably with other scholars in the nation. These are scholars that are going to go into high tertiary institutions such as the colleges and universities and they are going to make a contribution back into Lufuanyama. We see Lufuanyama developing at another level because we have all these expertise coming from this district and hence they'll bring the local economic development to Lufuanyama. So we see a brighter future for Lufuanyama district and a lot of contribution to the nation as a whole. In the area of agribusiness, we have uh, set up uh, farmer groups in, in form of uh, cooperatives and uh, these cooperatives have engaged with us as the market. Hence, um, they are growing value, um, high value crops such as carrots, peas and uh, any other vegetables. So whatever they grow, we buy it off them. Ultimately, at the end of the day, they get economically empowered uh, as a group and also at household levels. The local employment initiative through the chiefdoms has enabled um, the local employees to, 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 to be imparted with skills and knowledge on how to, to do some of these jobs as a hands-on training. And as a result, we have some of the, these people in the, acquiring the driving skills, some of these people acquiring the engineering skills, some of them, they are in the wash plant, acquiring the sorting skills. And at the end of the day, we've partnered with the community and no one feels left out. We're in it, we're into this development, community development together. As Kajem, when we talk of safety, um, we, we, we want every employee to go home safe and healthy every day. It's not only the health and safety of employees that is important, but also the environment in which we are operating. And as such, we have put in place a lot of environmental strategies, environmental management plans to ensure that even as we are operating, we have minimal impacts on the environment. We have continuous rehabilitation programs where after we have disturbed a certain 
part of the environment we rehabilitated after that particular operation is, is completed. We are not only interested in sustainability of the operation, but the sustainability of, the, uh, of our employees. So if you look at our employees, they are into a long term, they are into permanent and pensionable positions. We just turned all of them into a permanent and pensionable workforce. You talk about CSR and in that context that I'm talking about, we also believe in strongly that the sustainability of the environment which we operate. So both in terms of the, how do you take care of the community which lives beside you, in terms of we are obviously on, on during the mining period or the life of mine, we are obviously supplying them with an opportunity to, to have employment in this in the mine and also taking them along with us. We initially invested into creating a primary school, one community school and maybe one a small clinic. But over the years we have invested heavily into them and we are now turning them into the next stage. So the primary school has been converted to a secondary school, uh, the agricultural societies has now been formed and been expanded. Uh, the community school now being expanded to a, a primary school or being upgraded. And the small clinic with uh, the quarters and all now been upgraded to a mini hospital. So I think in this place we are, we are happy to uh, say that the people are enthusiastic, they are participating in this process and we are also very happy to contribute towards their, their development in a long term way. What we hope to see coming out of this um, engagement with our communities is we are striving to attain a sustainable livelihood in Lufanyama district. <laughs>